What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Burly Fishing. Uh, before I get started, if this is your first time checking out the channel, please subscribe, ring that bell if you wanna see more videos like this. I put out two a week, so stay tuned for more of that stuff. Today we're doing an unboxing, but we're doing two unboxings. These are two of the mail order type tackle boxes that you can get. There's plenty on the market. I'm just comparing these two for now. I'll be comparing more later on, right? So I, I'm ordering plenty of other brands here to see what they all have, right? Uh, you know, these things have been getting a lot more popular lately. I would say sort of the main reason that you might be ordering something like this is maybe if you're new to fishing, just trying to figure out, you know, what baits work for you and you just want an easier way to pick them out rather than going aisle by aisle at a Cabela's uh, or a Dick's Sporting Goods or something like that if you don't know what you're looking for. Uh, the other reason you might grab something like this is to get outside of your comfort zone. So if you typically fish the same thing over and over again, you only Texas rig worms or you throw spinner baits and you want to try something new like a square bill, maybe you order a box like this. Um, these are two of the bigger brands, Monster Bass being a newer one on the mar uh, market. I've been a subscriber of Mystery Tackle Box for a lot longer, but I'm here to try new things, right? So we're going to check out some other brands. So I want to see what's in these boxes. We're going to crack them open. I'm going to go through the baits, try and give you an idea of the value and what savings you might get out of this. And then tomorrow, we're going to take these out on the water, just these, and see which one catches more fish. So we're going to have some fun with that. So start with the MTB and let the newcomer go next. Uh, we open this guy up. You're going to notice the box is pretty well made, pretty durable, and it didn't get too beat up in the mail. And we have this cool little measurement card here. So that's pretty fancy. Uh, these do come with like a little reader digest. Mine this month was a walleye one for some reason. I don't really fish for walleye, but whatever, right? So you get something like that. Cool stories, tips and tricks, that sort of thing. And then you get a what's inside, uh, as well as the idea on sort of contests that they run. Uh, so they're big on sharing what you get out of your box on social media. If you do an unboxing or, you know, if you catch fish on a particular bait from the box, share it, hashtag mystery tackle box, whatever. And then you get a chance to win something. So that's kind of cool. Anytime a company does that, I like it. But this also shows you the value of the baits you're getting. So we're going to go bait by bait. I've added this up. This box total is about $45 in retail value. It cost me $27 free shipping. Uh, to get it to my house, so we saved about 15 bucks-ish. Cool. Uh, so let's go bait by bait. From the top here, we've got our most expensive, highest value bait would be this Bagley Wake Bait. So we're in a purple, chartreuse, and white type of pattern. Um, the thing at this time of year, it's probably gonna catch fish. I've been catching them on top water on whopper ploppers and wake baits for the past couple weeks. So excited to try this out. It's also a balsa wood so it's going to float really well it's pretty well balanced it's going to cast really nice on light uh, tackle rod and reel setup so we'll be testing this out tomorrow probably get some fish in the shallow so i'm pretty excited about that uh next up in value we have our uh that's 10.99 value by the way next up as far as the highest value we have the lunker hunt yappa frog so this is a typical weedless frog hollow body uh, so it's got this cool little cup, so it's going to have a really nice walking action across the top of the water, but it's also going to kick a lot of water, sort of like uh, a topwater popper or something like that. So pretty cool. I've caught some really big bass on this exact model of frog in all of black before. Uh, this is more of a green pumpkin, sort of a darker green color here, so I like it. I like the color a lot, uh, and it's going to probably catch fish. I don't know if it'll catch fish tomorrow, but I hope so, because frog blowups are awesome. We got two topwater baits. Next up, we have the Biospawn Exo Ribbon. So this is valued at $5.99. This one I'm pretty pumped about. I've been waiting on this. This is brand new. Uh, so it's a ribbon tail worm, but it's got this nice ribbed body, so it's gonna kick a ton of water. This is in a black and blue with a like neon blue tail. Great color for where I'm gonna be fishing tomorrow. It's been raining a lot. The water's really high. It's really stained and, and muddy in most areas, especially the river. This will probably work. So I'm pretty excited about this one. Probably Texas rig it, something like that. All right, just so you can see what that looks like. So really good action. Tail's pretty awesome. This is gonna kick a ton in the water. Uh, so that's gonna look really good. So pretty excited about that one. 
Uh, next up, we have the Big Bite Baits Pain Thumper. And so we got a nice little swimming plastic here. It's got ribs on the bottom, a uh, little hook spot right there, a little hook hiding area that you can put either on top or bottom so we can go weedless with this guy. Uh, it's in a really nice color with this like watermelon with that red flake on top and sort of this whitish bottom. So pretty awesome. I've caught a ton of fish on the white variant of this. Um, so I can't see why not. It's a good size for right now too. So that should catch. So 549 value. Then we've got the bankroll jig. This is $4.99. Uh, it's a nice stand-up jig, black and blue uh, coloring. So pretty awesome, pretty excited about that. It's got a pretty ridiculous weed guard on the front of it. it looks super thick. So that should fish just fine. Then we have some Mustad Ultra Point hooks. These are the extra uh, wide gap type hook. It's in a five aught. So it's a pretty thick gauge for where I fish most of the time. But it should be fine. Uh, we'll Texas rig the EXO ribbons on this tomorrow and we'll probably catch something. Uh, hopefully something big. Finally, we got the Z-Man Turd Cross. So the real deal TRD Cross. You can see this color here, it's pretty fancy. It's called a blood worm, right? It's a little red and green and blue flakes in there. Looks pretty juicy. Ned rigs are killing it on the rivers around me right now. And this is that Elaztec uh, plastic from Z-Man, so it's pretty fancy. Pretty, pretty good finesse bait right there. I've caught a ton of smallmouth on this exact plastic. It's rigged up to a mushroom head jig. So that's the mystery tackle box. Looks really good. Uh, I think we can catch a decent amount of fish on that tomorrow. So it's gonna be a tough contender for monster bass. So let's switch this up. Okay, so Monster Bass. I will say right off the bat, this box got beat to crap in the mail. That's probably my mail's problem. It was also open when I got it, so I hope, I hope I'm not missing anything. We'll see. Maybe my mailman, I actually, I know my mailman likes to fish, so hopefully he didn't steal anything. Uh, I don't think he did. All right, so open it up. Same idea, you've got all their social media stuff, hashtags, all that jazz in here. And boom, what do we got? All right, so right off the bat, there is nothing in here telling me what brands or values of each brand of bait I'm getting. So we'll guess. Uh, first off, we got a live target. I do like these. I have bigger variants of this exact same one. I like the colors on this one. I like that it's a sunfish because there's a ton of these in the waters around me and this will probably work. It's gonna match the hatch. Gonna catch some fish. It's got a nice little paddle tail there, a little weed guard at the top. Should do pretty good. So that's not bad. Uh, we have some Daiichi hooks. Never owned any of these hooks before. This is, I mean, Jimmy Houston's on the front, so obviously he's gonna catch fish. Uh, it's a, a long version of a wacky rig hook is what it says. So four wacky rig, it's a four aught. So again, kind of a big gauge uh, for where I typically fish, but It'll probably work. So we got that. We have a sticker, decent one. Might actually put something like this on my boat as opposed to the ones I, I get from the Mystery Tackle Box. This actually fell out earlier. It looked like that. Uh, I mean, cool-ish design. I don't know where I'd put this. It's, it's just, I don't know. My kids will like this sticker. I'm not putting it on my boat, but anyways. Uh, we got some Young Baits. I did rip this open just a little bit ago, but whatever. Uh, so we have a finesse worm, a long finesse worm, that they recommend throwing on drop shot, jig head, or Texas rigging with like a super light bullet weight. Pretty good looking worm though. So a little thinner profile, got this little flicker tail. Um, so it's gonna have a lot of action underwater. We'll probably play around with that. Might even throw it on a drop shot. And then we have the California Craw Color Game Hog, KVD, uh, Perfect Plastics, Strike King here, so let's get that guy open. So we have that typical like grass hog style body. So lots of little appendages. It's gonna move a lot of water. I like these little thick paddle tail things here. It's pretty awesome. 
like a tube body. Um, but yeah, that'll that'll probably actually work really well. We'll Texas rig that uh, tomorrow, or we could Carolina rig it too, because we got some deep water fish. But that's pretty solid plastic to have right there. Finally, we got two square bills. Uh, so I'm not sure the the value of either of these. Typically, the striking are like what five to eight bucks. Uh, so that could be decent. I've never heard of this brand Bandit before, but it looks like a decent bait. Uh, so this one, we've got like sort of this dirty chartreuse looking color. It's called Avocado Splatter. So there's that. We have with the Strike King, uh, this orange belly craw, so a craw pattern there. Uh, both of these would be two to five feet diving. I've been catching a lot of fish on square bill lately, so this will probably work. That's probably the juice. So. I think this is going to fish well, honestly. It's not a bad box. It was only 25 bucks. Um, if you're looking for, again, trying some new things out, this is uh, a decent place to start. I will say I, I probably should have got the regional box version of this. This is called their national box. It's a little more generic type of baits rather than specified. And the cool thing that uh, Monster Bass does that I'm excited to try out is their regional variant you actually answer some specific questions like what state you live in, what, uh, how you typically fish, if it's from the bank or from a boat, uh, and then they, and what types of baits you like to fish the most. So they're really gonna narrow that scope, which is cool. So I'm excited to try that out. I think next month I'll get their regional box over the national box, but not bad the first time. And again, what's most important is that tomorrow we're gonna take these babies out and we're gonna see which one catches the most fish. So again, if you guys like the video, subscribe, hit the like button if you can, leave a comment for me which box you thought was the better box. Um, again, I can't tell you the value of the Monster Bass box because I didn't get a value card, uh, but we saved about 15 bucks uh, off retail for the tackle and the mystery tackle box. I bet both catch a lot of fish. If you guys are looking to fish some new types of baits, check out one of these boxes. Um, you know, I'll leave the links below and keep in mind that I drop two of these videos a week. So stay tuned for more, but definitely check out my video on which of these catches the most fish. See you guys later.